to the last of our forgiven shorts. Well, maybe not the last. We're going to keep talking about forgiveness, but at least, at least in this line of, of thought here. So we've talked about baptism, holy absolution, the gospel proclaimed, the Lord's Supper, and now to one that, that usually doesn't get talked about a lot. And I don't know why, because it's pretty awesome. The mutual conversation and consolation of the brethren. Now, this doesn't mean only brothers can talk to each other. You know, one guy talking to another guy. Brethren is basically the assembly of all believers. Everybody together. What do we do? What do we say to each other? How do we uh, talk to each other? Well, do we say mean things to each other? You know, like Thumper, right? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Anything at all? Nothing at all? I don't know if it's a double negative there with Disney. We'll have to go back and check. But the reality is we're not negative toward each other. We're not bashing each other, putting each other down, trying to um, bring darkness into each other's lives. What we do as brothers and sisters in Christ is we build each other up. And how do we build each other up? Well, we could talk about each other's good works. Hey, look at all the good things you do in life. But the, the devil doesn't buy into that, nor does the world, nor does the old Adam. So even if we talk about that a little bit, there's always a bunch of negative things that can be said as well. How do we build each other up? Is by covering each other in the righteousness of Christ. Forgiving each other. Reminding each other that we are baptized. That we are absolved. That we eat and drink the same body and blood together. That we bear the cross of life together. And that we remind each other that we are forgiven and daily forgive each other that we hand that over. Because church, it's one day a week, maybe two days a week you go to church. But you have the mutual consolation available all the time. That you have your brothers and sisters in Christ in your family, with your friends, with your pastor, all the time to have that assurance that you are loved and forgiven. So this is the, the key thing with all of these. Baptism, absolution, the gospel proclaimed, sacrament of the altar, and mutual consolation of the brethren is the reality that Jesus never wants you to forget that you are forgiven. That's who you are in the eyes of the Father now. You're not the sinner. You're not the condemned one. You're not the wicked one. You are the forgiven child, the pardoned saint, the beloved one. That's who you are. So be at peace and rejoice because <laughs> You and I are going to a great place unto eternity, and the forgiveness of our sins reminds us of that on a daily basis. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. Follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.